the Boston mayor's race and our first glimpse at who may be jumping to the front of the pack. The election is still a few months away. But a new poll shows that acting mayor Kim Janey and city councilor Michelle Wu have been joined in that top tier for the first time by councilor Anissa Asaibi George. WBZ political analyst John Keller has a look now at the issue that may be making the difference. We shouldn't have police in schools. When it comes to the top policing issues of the day, like the role of cops in schools or shifting funds from police to social services, most of the Boston mayoral candidates are on the same page. And we cannot have the expectation that some of our students who look like us in this room compared to those in the suburban schools are going to go to schools in settings that feel like a prison. We absolutely need to remove school resource officers, a.k.a. school police officers from Boston Public Schools. Most, but not all. When we talk about the school to prison pipeline, it is not directly related to school police officers who are school student resource officers. In a field packed with policing critics, City Councilor Anissa Asaibi George has consistently staked out the field's most cop friendly positions, as she did in this recent WBZ interview. Oh, we need several hundred more police officers to make sure that we have a safe city, that police are able to respond to 911 calls and, and work work to, to end the public safety crisis that we are experiencing as a city. And that new poll showing her in a virtual tie with Janie and Wu suggests that branding is working. It found 73% of those who back Janie support cuts in the police budget, while 81% of Asabi George supporters do not. What the Asabi George camp has figured out um, very, very early is that they understand that they have a coalition of voters across the city, um, that, that that's an issue that they care about and that they feel more moderate about in the reality. Now, in that interview with you a second ago, Councillor Asabi George referred to the situation in the city as a public safety crisis. Is that true? Well, not really. Based on the statistics, uh, property crimes generally are down year to year in Boston. There has been an increase, though, in homicides and shootings. Uh, not a huge increase, but enough to alarm people, and that's the point, Lisa. When people are concerned about crime, issues like these policing issues that we talked about in, the, in this report uh, tend to take center stage. And when the goal, the political goal of all these candidates is to make the two-person runoff in September and get into the final, you know, this, this kind of branding that Asaibi George is doing could be very effective. Now, how that might play in the final, that could be a different story, but that's a long way away. Yeah, a lot of time between now and then, but it is interesting. It sure so, is. Thank you.